What's up dudes? Welcome to my song review. I was going to say welcome back, but I don't think I do these frequently enough to welcome you back to another song review for the debut song from the brand new boy group from JYP Entertainment named Stray Kids. The song, of course, is titled District 9. I covered it, of course, in a reaction video a couple of days ago. It's a super, super awesome song. Had some very, very good things to say about the song and my first impressions. And now, now that I've had some time to like re-listen to this song for hours on end, for the most part, um, I can actually, I got, I got some other things to kind of share, which they might, of course, be similar to what I talked about in the in my, in my reaction video, but these are the things that kind of stood out to me the most. So it's really awesome to finally like actually hear this group full and I suppose properly, um, you know, uh, debuted so to speak. I guess that I guess that's the actual problem, not so to speak, that is literally what's happened. Like they released two songs and a mixtape beforehand, which is like, you know, a full mini album and all this stuff before they actually made their debut with another mini album. So they've done a lot before they've actually officially debuted, which is definitely very, very cool. And a brand new group from JYP Entertainment, a brand new boy group from JYP Entertainment specifically is, you know, always, I think, going to be very, very exciting. Looking forward to the next to their next girl group too, but that's not what we're here to we'll talk about. We're here to talk about Stray Kids, and it would be poor, I should say, I, I would say, it would be wrong to completely ignore the fact that every single song on their album, every single song that they have released on their on their mixtape or and also on this album have been have been like written and composed by a handful of members in this group. And that is something that is very very significant. It's significant in the whole context and the landscape of K-pop as a whole, but it is even more significant in the context of the fact that this group is a group from JYP Entertainment, which JYP is a company that is the complete op that is very much the opposite of YG who YG is kind of training and grooming people to produce their own music and write their music. He's, he's training and grooming musicians where JYP is basically producing, you know, pop stars or performers, so to speak. People who don't necessarily write their music or are involved in that, but they just perform what they're given. You know, choreography, music, lyrics, all that sort of stuff. And, you know, JYP is very, very successful at that. JYP, the man himself, um, you know, is very good at writing music that is going to be very, very successful. Like, he knows something. He knows an element of K-pop, a sound in K-pop that is going to be successful and is going to kind of, you know, br br bring in the dollars for both of his groups and JYP as a company. And it's good. And it works. And, you know, it's not bad for the most part. His music, his music is pretty good. But... You know, at some point, something different is, you know, definitely much more interesting and much more needed, I think. Um, especially, you know, you, you, mean you can't have a couple of groups that sound, you know, not, I was going to say the same, but, you know, Twice and Got7 don't sound the same. But, you know, they, they, they've got the, the, the little bit of that JYP flair because he has this tendency to kind of like stick his fingers in the music that the groups are releasing and, you know, produce the stuff himself which, you know, a lot of fans think is good and a lot of fans think is bad. Or I should say a lot of fans think is bad. Not very many people have really a, have, have a positive opinion on it. But these guys, of course, with uh, Stray Kids I'm talking about, have a completely different vision, have a complete different vision for the music from JYP, the, the man in charge of the company, and JYP, the company. The, the whole music direction that JYP as a company is going towards is very much different from what Stray Kids is doing. And that right there means that it is something that is very, very interesting and very, very kind of significant for JYP. That on top of the fact that they are, you know, writing their music themselves, which is something that JYP groups do not do. Like I kind of was, you know, per, I was, you know, leading towards saying that. Um, and then I kind of got sidetracked, but kind of making the comparison between YG Entertainment, who you know, the, 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 the members of those groups write their own music for the most part, and JYP, where the members don't necessarily write their music, you've got, now you now have got JYP with a group that writes their own music. I mean, they're getting primary credits on the composition and the lyrics of the song. They're getting a little bit of composition help, and they're getting, and, and for most of the songs, they're being arranged by somebody else. So, 
that in, in and of itself is pretty significant. Like you get the guys who are writing the verses and the choruses, and then they're kind of be putting together with, but with by somebody else, which is you know how music gets written, and that's how it gets done. Like five different people, you know, will write five different parts in a song, and then you got maybe a couple of people who compose stuff, who then arrange it all together, move things around, make adjustments, add in the transitions, do all that kind of stuff, and you know these these guys are doing like I think one of the most important parts in making music because of course the arrangement is the thing that kind of glues everything together that's very very important but you know without without anything to glue without the without the building blocks then of course the arrangement doesn't actually matter because there's nothing to arrange so composing their own music is just monumental it's also of course monumental in the in, in the fact that this is a group from JYP that is doing it you know, because JYP hasn't really ever done that. So that's pretty significant. I should say, or maybe I should say major, you know, groups and performers from JYP have not done that, which is pretty, um, which is pretty significant. So enough talking about the fact of, you know, just raving about the fact these guys compose their own music, but let's actually talk about, let's actually talk about the song. And I got to say, just first off, that, you know, at the, at the core of it, there's there's a little bit of this that's not particularly interesting when it comes to the sound of the song, but then there is the little flair element that actually makes it interesting and unique. And of course, you know, the, the base of the song isn't necessarily the most crazy, unique thing that you've, you've ever heard in K-pop, but the addition and the mixing in of, you know, a little bit of rock and roll or, you know, guitar and all that kind of stuff definitely does add in, I should say hard rock, heavy, you know, hard rock specifically kind of does add in something that is very much different. There are not many K-pop groups at all, there are not many K-pop songs at all that actually take this combination of, of genres and this sound, and that right there is something that sets this group apart from the very start. Like before you even get into you know the like breaking down the elements of the song and how all this sounds, just their overall general sound and identity as a as a group, their musical identity as a group is something that sets themselves apart from literally, I think will say because there's probably a group out there that I don't know about but there's it sets them apart from 99% of groups out there in K-pop and that right there is something that is very very big being different from the multitude of K-pop groups that are out there who are who are all competing for attention in a very very you know intense you know competition the market is relatively small and there's a lot of groups who are trying to who are trying to grab your attention and these guys are doing something different and they're doing something that stands out and from a lot from from the crowd and that is actually how you get people's attention by being something that is very 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 different and stray kids are doing that with district 9 and of course every other song on this album as well they're doing that but beyond just setting themselves apart with their sound there's a couple elements of this song that i really really like i talked about this in my reaction video but i definitely really really love the whole progression and the feeling of the verse and the chorus and so going from the verse which feels which gives you a little bit of a tense feeling through the little guitar riff that they're playing which isn't the most unique guitar riff in the sense of like you know you're trying to have a little th have a little you know intensity or a little bit of a tense feeling you're trying to a little trying to something that's you know builds a little bit of anxiety in fact it really kind of is i think a, a little sound in a riff that is really really closely associated with just like running away pretty much you know, if you were to use it in in a in a in, in a video context, which in the context of the music video for this song itself, it is actually you know them escaping from the prison cells or wherever it is that they're being held. You know, which you know transferring that to like a TV show, you know, you would get this sort of like a guitar riff kind of thing associated with uh, people breaking out of prison and running away from the cops and doing sort of stuff like that. You know, it's kind of that guy, it's got that kind of association to it. So it's not really a, a unique, um, you know, sort of guitar riff and vibe to it, but it definitely is something that sounds very, very cool in this song. What makes it even better though, of course, is it being paired with the chorus, which then just like unleashes and lets go all of that little bit that like that pent up energy and anxiety that you kind of that was felt that was kind of being expressed through the verse and you know of course they do that by just going from like rap rap vocals to actual like sung vocals hitting high notes and powerful you know vocals and you know switching up the guitar from something that's a little bit more you know constrained and you're trying to hit just like maybe specific strings 
And they go from doing that to hitting power chords instead. And all of that stuff is just stuff that sounds very, very open and big. And just there's a lot more, you know, power behind it as opposed to something that's a little like constrained, which is what the verses kind of sound like. So to kind of just break it down, the verses sound a little constrained and the choruses sound much more open and free. And, you know, it is definitely really, really cool. The other, the, the final little element of this song that I think is really good, which makes that whole, you know, difference between the verse and the chorus really, really effective is the little bit of a transition, the, how, they, how they move from the verse into the chorus. So the way that they wrap up the verse, I don't, I don't know if I would say that it's something that is particularly remarkable, but if you, it, it reminds me of a lot of like these, um, of snare solos in drum corps. Uh, my brother marched drum corps for a little while, so and he was a snare drummer on a, in a drum line for the drum corps. And so, you know, I kind of have a little, I've heard plenty of, of snare solos uh, or drum solos from, from various drum corps, and it kind of does sound a very much a lot like um, a, a lot of those, which is very much just like, just, just putting a lot of intensity into, into your beats, just like, just like hammering it down. And, and it feels really, really good. I definitely really like it. It's a really good way to kind of just wrap up that verse before they move into a long pause before the music track for the, for the chorus kicks in once again. But during that pause before the chorus, the music track for the chorus actually kicks in, the vocals are the thing that kind of leads into the music track. So you get a little bit of the vocals that come in that kind of like turn turn the little turn turn the faucet a little bit to kind of let the little little bit of little little bit of water run out, and then you know they kind of set you up really really nicely for when the actual instrumentation kicks in for the chorus, which then just completely opens up the floodgates, and then the just, just the complete freedom of the chorus is then you know let go, and that is something that is very very cool. It, it's a really really cool sort of transition moment, and it. it it makes, I think, the chorus hit and it have a lot more impact than it does. The fact that the that the verse is so sort of like constrained and the way that they kind of end it with the way that the chorus begins and all that stuff is, is a really, really fantastic sort of transition. So those are the things that I've got to say. Those are the things that are remarkable and very, very well done about this song. So Stray Kids, of course, being the being the first major group from JYP that I can, you know, that I have knowledge of who's actually writing their own music is significant. And for that reason alone, not even considering all of the other things, all of the other good things that I like that I have to say about these guys. That is that that has me very very interested in what they're going to be doing next. So I want to know what you guys think now that you guys have had more time to listen to this song. What are your favorite parts and why? And just you know, let me know what's what's up with Stray Kids down in the comments below. Don't be afraid to share what you guys think, whether you like the song or not. You know, whatever you got to say, it is all is definitely welcome here. Because I'm trying to build a community here that is all about having some free and open discussion about our thoughts and opinions, no matter what they are. So if you want to join the community click on the subscribe button down below. If you want to make sure that you do not miss a single video, click on the bell icon so that you can turn on notifications. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. As always, I want to thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.